Okay, here's a studio tour. I'm actually going to just show you where my house is. And this is the new building that we built. And this is where my, this is called the art barn. And so this is my studio. Mona's on the inside. She's like, why did you leave me in here? What did I do to deserve this treatment? Hello, Mona. You want to say hello to the YouTubers? Do you? What? Anyways, sorry about that. So this is it. When you come in, there are some places to hang your coats. I have like my apron, um, instant camera, filing cabinet full of files, my journaling by fives, and like this stuff is sort of, st I put stuff here to go in the house. So all these little outfit, Mona outfits, they go in the house. Um, this I made this um, from paper pulp. Uh, I have some like stuff from work that I need to adjust for some stuff for work. So I have this little cabinet. I found this for two dollars at a yard sale. I just there's some Scrabble tiles, lighter for candles, like just a few random things in there. Nothing, you know. It's not my. It's more for looks. Same as that tackle box. I found it at at the thrift store for like 25 cents. I had big plans for it, but I just like how it looks. I keep all my packing tape in here. This is a little light, has a switch on it. And when I'm out here at night, I turn it on, it has a little arrow. Those pom-poms I am going to put in a different container because Colin wants to use that for the fish pond. Books that I pile up there, that's my like carving stuff. My little Ikea cart with some paints on it. Like whenever I want to do something like, oh, I want to show a demo of um, how to use a jelly plate or something, I'll just grab some random different paints. I have a whole bunch of different kind on there. This filing cabinet, I had a clear plastic one. And so I I arted up that. It's on wheels. Mom's crying to go out now. So it's just full of stuff. It's really very unorganized like here for example I just cleaned that out it's just full of that is not good stuff this is kind of organized this is really just crammed in there stuff I kind of know what's in there but I must admit pretty much not that's all my washi tape uh, this is sort of like my shelf of stuff that I love and use or look at frequently my pegboard uh, it's it's awesome because I oh I need more things to put stuff in but it's good how it is I love these actually they pop off really easy they come up and so they're my pens aren't organized I have like my Posca's in there there's some Posca's in there I have like these are for fabric I have all my um, micron for zentangling and just random stuff I'll just do a little quick tour of my... My dad came today and gave me these. He always um, writes in these books. And I just opened it to that random page. Because there was some funny stuff on there. So I'm going to read those later. He, he's been doing that since like the 80s. I have like a whole trunk full of those. This is just some random like stuff I want to have at hand. If I feel like getting my art on, I just grab something and okay I'll try that and then I'll just do like an index card or something this is where I sit and like when I do book work and stuff which is that's sort of my to-do list pile of stuff under there um there is stuff that I should be doing like right away but it's not 100% urgent so it's just there to do this is all happy mail um, I need to do something with Happy Mail one day. This is all stuff, recent stuff for my dog food company. Uh, my grandma's sewing thing. It's got needles in it, like sewing machine needles. And other random sewing stuff. That's my quilt tack gun and that's for like the jelly plate. There's some stuff, other stuff back there, paper and uh, threads are totally unorganized and I'm okay with that. Mona, she's uh she's three bad hot today. This um I I kinda know what's in here. Like there's more paint there. 
There's lots of stuff for assemblage. This is like my, when I think of an idea I, and I want to sketch it out, I have a book here, that black one, and there's lots of cool ideas in there that I've done over the years. Yeah, just random stuff. These are full of fabric, etc. stuff. So it's all open, which is good. Then I can see kind of what's going on there. I keep my stencils here for the most part. And then there's one of those drawers has stencils. I'm not going to show you those because they're totally not on or they're totally not organized, but well, I'll show you one and then you'll get an idea. Let's see. But I know what's in there. Like I I know that the third drawer has all my like sewing stuff for my machines and and you know, I, I'm I got a handle on it. This is sort of stuff I use frequently, like my calligraphy things, Mona's leash. Because I like to take it off when she has little naps. I'm working on this book for Carly. I've got all the like the spine punched out. So this is a up, I might do a video, but probably not, of working on that. Because I have my GoPro set up over there. It's just I just get distracted and I want to listen to music. And then there's the copyright issues. And then there's all the editing stuff. So it doesn't happen. So I am waiting for my therapeutic hammock to show up. That is why the tables are in the back. Um, so that should be any day. I got the notice that the, the thing that swivels is on its way. And that was, that was a fairly expensive little piece of hardware. So I just got um, sort of just stuff for people to see. I, got, I dug this out of the garage today. It's a gator back, we call them. It's a piece of a tire from the road. Oh, what, Molly? What? Yeah, sorry, get distracted. There is tons of stuff for bookmaking here. And what I mean is like paper bags and like paper that I'll buy at the hard, the thrift store and stuff. This is my Australia trip. This is um, a, just a weekend I spent with my friend in, in Nelson. She's like my sister, so. Just some books I use for reference. Um, there's a vision book in there. I've been doing that for a long time. In this one, I can't remember actually what's in there. Hmm, good. I should find out. That I have tons of batting in there. This is heavy, so I have to get somebody to help me take it off. It's not convenient, but it's how it is for now. My selfie book, um, some dolls I made for classes. Just little stuff on the windowsill. Oh no. Art journals everywhere. Um, that's the one I made. My grandma. My Rolodex. I love this. This this is one of my awesomest art experiments ever that I did. So just books. I use some for collage. Just some reference books. Oh, my Annie Sloan paint is there. My chalk paint. I'm still going to finish this. It's not been waxed, this desk, but you know, it's here for now. I'm going to make um, tablecloths for some tables I got for the fall, the fall fair, the farmer's market. Oh, so that's just some stuff. This, this actually pulls out and it's full of stuff. And yeah, I'm not going to show you because it doesn't make any sense. It's just, I've been just cramming stuff in there. And then underneath it are two huge drawers, I'll show you. And they're full of like, um, stuff. See? Stuff. You get the idea. I'll just quickly show you. It's just packed full of, like, stuff. Yeah. Underneath the tables are also the same. Those bins are all full of stuff. So that table and this table is the same. Hmm. And I'm okay with that. It's mostly fabric. I've bought it, um, you know, sales and stuff. And back here, I've, I got this divider up here to show off the fascinators, but that's my spray paints, some good batting, and a whole bunch of bins of fabric. And there's some other stuff back in there. Stuff back in there. And here's my two tables, sorry for spinning you around. And you can see the storage up there I have is awesome. So my space is 18 feet wide and 48 feet long. So I've got some great bin. I love the clear bins. 
and then I can see what's in them so I can look up and then I'll oh yeah okay well I remember what's in that bin or I remember what in that bin um, so yeah I like the clear bins they look cool and I like having those exercise balls up there because they look kind of cool went to 10 minutes already here's my sink garbage day tomorrow here's my beater um, love my sink here is the utility room I have a washer and dryer in there and I have another sink this is what heats my floor in the studio is um, as our, our brain center and this is where my don't judge me because this is really a big mess for more than one re reason somebody gave me all those books so I was like where am I gonna put those and then I got these three chairs and I have to have them in here because I'm gonna do a photo shoot with the new hammock and I've got the dog food which I sell now the all-natural dog food pet food cat food too and so there's all that getting ready for farmers market stuff and then the other day I was happened to be driving by the bargain store and they had these carts for free 12 of them I got and there it was funny because there's like a huge storm going on at the time and um, I had to put them in my car I don't have a very big car so it was like 12 trips so yeah these are awesome they'll be great for when we build when we finish up the space for where we're gonna store the pet food these are all gonna be put in the shed and then we have this little island because when Colin gets home it's like, I'm, sure, I'm sure he walks in here each time and he's just like oh man more stuff when are we gonna stop getting all this stuff so I, I agree with him 100% we got too much stuff in here but we're on it it's just a work in progress this up here is like where the go up to the in the ceiling there but this is a, a shower pad we bought it too big and no one wants to buy it so it's just up there maybe one maybe we'll build a little, little pool shed and put a shower huge shower in it that's the only thing we think to do because it was like a thousand dollars and we don't want to give it away and here is Earl's little suite and it's nice and cool in here because he's got the air conditioning cranked um, it's pretty nice he's got all his stuff on the yeah we need to fix this this isn't grouted yet this backsplash um, unfortunately it's coming off so we need that's why we didn't grout it because we need to deal with it and it's like way low on the list of priorities so yeah this is his little suite it's awesome he's got a bedroom back in there I'm not gonna go and show you because I'm going to end this vlog and well it's actually more of a studio tour so this is my studio thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later